Good morning everybody, happy Monday and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today we are on weekly 33 and it is bank holiday Monday um, and also the start of our study leave but it is just my May half term. My college has been really stingy with study leave this year, we got it for like a week last year, like a week after May half term I think but because our exams are literally next week I'm stressing. Because our exams are literally next week, we don't really get a study leave, which is really, it really sucks because I could have really done with like an extra week. That would have been amazing. But this is what I've been dealt. I'm pretty confident with the material in all my subjects, but we're gonna be doing some revision days this week. Today is gonna be a weird one because I have to wash my hair. <laughs> Last week, I didn't wash my hair like at all. I know it's disgusting, but I really genuinely couldn't find the time to wash my hair, which is really disgusting. I'm aware, I know, but today it is my mission to wash it because we're filming Ash Avery today and it has been like over a week since I washed my ugly, ugly hair. But yeah, we're filming Ash Avery today about alcohol and so that has kind of shifted my how my revision day will go. It's currently 10 to 9 and I would have actually been downstairs having breakfast by now but I thought I'd start the vlog um, and give you like a little update. If you didn't know I am like a booktuber, I'm not going to say that but I do enjoy books. I'm a total bibliophile now. In my late teens I've really embraced literature by the bollocks. <laughs> so I read a book a week which turns out to be on average four books a month. Um, which is 100 pages a day depending on my mood. I hardly ever hit it But at the weekend my boyfriend picked out genuine fraud by E Lockhart and I am just reading this because it's really small and I'm about you can't really see that I'm about halfway through. So also today, which is going to be a little bit different of my schedule is I want to film a study with me the last week of exam study with me because I mentioned doing a study with me on my Twitter a few weeks ago maybe even longer and y'all went nuts. <laughs> so I want to like film one, but I'm not really sure how, but we're going to work it out. We're going to figure it out. I still don't really know which channel I want to post it on. I think I want to post it on the main channel, but I'm actually not sure because study with me is a touch and go. It might not do so well on this channel. I might film both. Like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And hey guys, welcome back to my shelf. Because I actually don't know which channel it's going to go on. It probably is already up by the time you're watching this because I will be in... I will have, because I will have been in my media exam when you're watching this, I would have, my exam would have been done. Oh my god, you're in the future. How did it go? <laughs> go onto my Twitter to see how that went. Oh, okay, this is not a good time for promotion. I think I'm going to be focusing on media for the first half of the week and then sociology maybe for the, the second half. Um, and then I might do some like mop-up bits for film, but I do have a lot to get done So <laughs> I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna film my intro for my study with me And I'm gonna go downstairs and feed my hungry ass. <laughs> this is how much alcohol me and Waverly have to drink in the video Well, not all of it in the video obviously, but this is how much alcohol we've bought And she's bringing one more bottle for herself from her work because she works at a pub now um, so <laughs> We gon' get crunk. No, I don't know. Um, I actually can't wait to have this pina colada and it's so addictive. I look like a proper alcoholic. I have missed you. I have just literally been filming for my study with me. It's currently 20 past 11 and I've finished my sociology revision for today. I've sorted out all of this. I've edited the first and second clip of this vlog and I've edited a lot of the study with me. So I've been really productive this morning. I'm pretty proud of myself but now we are going to get into proper revision. I don't think I'm going to edit any more today. Um, but I have all of my media revision lined up and I'm really proud of it. I've been kind of focusing on, you know, doing uh, revision and filming my study with me. So I hope that's okay but once I finish revising at about four or five I will Hop on here and probably film a little bit more. I have my window open and there's a lot of kids on my street. I don't know why, it just it just is. And I don't know why I'm saying this, but I have my window open and a kid just turned around to hit their mom. I don't know if it was a I don't know if it was a little girl or a boy, whatever. Um she turned around to their mom and said, I love you and I just it really 
really made my day. <laughs> I don't know why I told you that, but I did. Um, but I'm going to get on with some revision um, for media, see how many of these I can get done today until my brain just goes and I watch a film. <laughs> Basically my day. like that it's still monday it's quarter to five and i have just been watching weirdly's weekly vlog because it just went up and mine also did two so i just kind of gently pushed my laptop down because i don't want to see the comments and everything i'm going to be washing my hair now and i'm actually really excited but scared because i have some psoriasis there i'm kind of scared but i'm i'm living life i want to do it because my hair's really greasy and we're filming so yeah, I stopped filming for my um, study with me. I'm about to do the outro while I'm washing my hair. Um, and then I will render that and upload it to my Shaki Shelf channel, scheduled for probably tomorrow or Thursday. Probably Thursday, actually, because, I don't know, I just felt like it. But I'm about to go and wash my hair and then get ready so we can film as soon as Waverly gets here because I actually can't wait to start drinking. <laughs> Tuesday. It is the morning after the night before. I feel okay. It was really bad this morning, but I'm mostly in pain <laughs> because me and Waverly filmed Ashley really about alcohol yesterday and we unintentionally got very drunk. I think my limit may be like here and I was like down here, which is why I stopped. Um, if I'd have gone over that, I would have been really ill and really drunk. Waverly was by far the drunkest out of all of us. Um, we were sat on the bathroom floor with her for ages. Like, I don't even remember how long. I remember being on my knees, which is why my knee really fucking hurts now. Like, it's all red, um, because I was knelt on the floor with her because she was thrown off. I think I've lost a toenail. And I want to show you <laughs> because I it really hurts. If you don't like feet or blood, look away now, kids. Look away, children. <laughs> That's a Deadpool reference. So here's my knee. <laughs> my knee's really red. It's all right. I just can't really put that much pressure on it. Yeah, I've definitely lost the toenail. Oh my god. And the funny thing about my toenail is the fact that I did it sober. I kicked my bed before we filmed. And I, like, literally, it's just... Fallen off. That hurts. My knee hurts. I'm just hurting. So a lawyer has just told me that when I was drunk texting her yesterday, that I was texting her the foundations of sociology. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> Even when I'm drunk, I'm fucking revising. Like, what is wrong with me? I can never, like, take a break. But I'm gonna get something to drink, um, and I'm maybe gonna edit the ass shavely um, while Tia and Waverly are still asleep, um, and then I will... Uh, check in with you a bit later. So it's about 10 to 3 um, and the Ask David About Alcohol is being scheduled as we speak. I finished editing it about an hour ago or so. It just took some time to render and now it's all done. It has about 19 minutes to go until it has been scheduled and will be up tomorrow at half past four. I hope you guys did enjoy that. It took us a lot to film. We did get absolutely smashed <laughs> and I'm still quite hungover, which is why I haven't done any revision today. My brain's not in the right place. Um, I'm really hot, I'm really sweaty and I'm just really fucking hanging. But we're going to the best place for hangovers. Nods. But right now, we're downstairs playing Fortnite, watching some Disney films. I think I'm gonna try and get some reading done if I can find my book. Wow. Did I already bring it downstairs with me? I can't find my book. I'm going to bring my book down and hopefully finish it today. I'll let you know if I finish it or if I even I can find it. Jesus. Not only did I find my book, I finished it. Whoop whoop. I gave it a one star. One. <laughs> I still feel really terrible and hot and sweaty and just hungover and I just feel like death. So no, I'm not going to be doing any revision. I've formally decided. But since I finished this, we get to pick another book. 
I was going to read Love and Gelato. If I don't like the one that I pick out, I'll read Love and Gelato, but I like picking them out. It's a good section of the vlog and it gets me excited. It keeps me going. So I finish this, I'm going to go ahead and film my May wrap up. But first, let's pick a new book to read. You bounce on a hair dye box. If you don't call me retro, you don't call me retro. Anyway, TBR thing. To be read jar. Let's pick two out. And if I don't like either of them, I'm going to go with Love and Gelato. This really wants to be read by me. This really wants to be read by me. So we've got a cock of orange. The girl on the train. I wanted to read the girl on the train in October when I'm feeling a bit of like thriller mystery. This week's book, because my TBR pop failed me, is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch, which was a Christmas present from Waverly. But I have been waiting for like summertime to read it because it's all about ice cream. Ice cream. And it's coming up to summer, so I thought I would read it. It has 333 pages, which means I can probably get through it in about three or four days, which is really cool because I've only really got a little bit of time left of this week. And then I go back to college on Monday and it's my media <laughs> exam. So hopefully, that will go okay. So now I'm gonna go ahead and film my May wrap up just to quickly edit now before we get dinner and then to upload probably on Thursday or Friday. I hadn't decided if probably Thursday so I can get that up and get my opinions out there and I can just fucking forget about the abysmal book that is Genuine Fraud. Oh my God. It's really raining outside. I don't know if you can hear it, but it sounds great. Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. So it's currently nine o'clock in the morning. I am up about half an hour later than I would normally be. I would normally be downstairs having breakfast by now, but I was absolutely knackered this morning. I gave myself an extra half an hour in bed because I was so tired and it sounded great outside and it was just so relaxing. And I love the sound of rain if I'm not in it. If I'm in it, I hate it. But if I'm like inside and staying inside, like I know that I'm not going to be out in it. It's great. I had a very bad flare up of IBS last night and my stomach is still a little bit weird. Um, I think it was down to stress, but I also think it was down to the fact that I had alcohol on Monday. So I was in a lot of pain. I started to panic because there's only a few more days of the, like, the holiday, the study leave. But... I just, I feel like I've got so much to do and I've done nothing, but I don't know if that's true or me just being a worried war. The sound of this rain is making me feel so nice about myself. <laughs> I love it. I'm just not going out in it. It's okay. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. I'm sorry I didn't really film that much yesterday. I had a lot going on and I suddenly just took ill yesterday. I don't know if it was a second day hangover or just a cold or whatever, but I do feel better today, so I'm guessing it was like a second day hangover. I also had some personal stuff going on yesterday. I'm obviously not going to say um, because it's okay now, um, but I had some personal stuff going on as well as that, so that's why I didn't film and I apologise. A lot of you tell me not to apologise when I don't vlog, but I can't help it because that's what you come for and if I don't provide that... I'm a shit vlogger. So I haven't started Love and Gelato like at all. It's still on my TV stand. Um, abandoned. <laughs> so maybe I should start that today. But I finished Genuine Fraud so that counts as a book for this week so I'm not really mad about that. So today is never at 10 till 5 slash 6 revision day. Um, I've decided to do that and then tomorrow I have to go to a workshop from half past 9 until 12 at Sociology and then from about 12-ish until 2-ish. Um, I'm going to a, a media one because my exam's on Monday, so that would make sense. You guys absolutely loved Ash Overly About Alcohol yesterday. So much so that you want a part two. We can't do that. <laughs> we can't get drunk again on camera. That would be wrong. But I'm so glad that you guys enjoyed that. It was it was a fun video to make and that we didn't get drunk and hang over for no reason. So it's currently half past nine and the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my laptop and I'm going to get my charger and just import the footage I filmed yesterday and this clip and edit it together really quickly and then play a match of Fortnite until about 10 and then I'm going to do some revision because I need to get some done since my exams aren't that f too far away which is hella scary. So let's go. So it's currently 6pm and I just realised that I haven't actually said anything to the vlog today other than the fact that I said good morning this morning. But I've just finished today's revision. All I've got left to do is watch Blade Runner with my food. But that's not revision, that's watching a film. I actually did it in the afternoon because I fell ill again today and I only got my shit together at like one. So I've still done five hours today which is great. But now I'm about to play Fortnite and I still haven't read anything, which I probably should do, but Fortnite is really calling my name today. And I actually won one with my squad. 
so that was nice. Fortnite update for this trolley is really funny and I really did have a little bit of a giggle when I got one for the first time so if you want to see that there's the clip. <laughs> I thought we were going to take damage then. Push me, bitch! <laughs> I hope you found that as funny as I did because I was fucking cackling as you can see in the clip. But I am about to play some Fortnite again and I'm going to try and get some montage clips because I haven't all this week and I feel kind of like I'm a fraud because my thing is montage. I almost always do montage in weekly vlogs and I haven't, which is maybe a good thing for you. Maybe you like pointing and shooting and me being like, I did this, but for me personally, I like to make and watch vlogs that are like showing me what they're doing rather than telling me afterwards or telling me before but I am about to play Fortnite and have some food because oh my god my fucking stomach hurts because I'm so hungry and I really want to play Fortnite and I want to win let's go win a Fortnite match with the squad I can't do it on my own yet but we can do it in a squad Happy Friday! I just realised that I haven't actually said hello today. My workshops for media and sociology were unfortunately cancelled. I didn't find this out until I actually got to the building. I travelled all that way to an all my money and then they said go back round because the doors weren't open and I was like, you serious? So I waited with Callum for a bit. He got some shoes and then Waverly eventually came and met me. We did some shopping together for a little while before her housing appointment, I think it was, but I have a haul and a half for you. First, the more simpler things in this haul are my hair dye. I did find some eventually. I was on a hair dyeing exploration quest thing last vlog. So I did find some and I got two packets because I've already got one and we should be able to mix the same brand. Waverly is giving me one of her spare um, bleach bottles so I didn't need to buy another one of those which really saved me some money. She also let me borrow her um, super drug, I was going to say Subway, we didn't go to Subway, a super drug card so I could get a pound off of this which really helped as well. If you didn't know, me and Half Blood Pixie aka Kelly, we're doing a box swap. She is sending me Korean candy I think or Korean snacks and I'm sending her some English ones and I have a whole bag full not full but it's quite chunky of snacks for her i don't think it's going to fit in the letterbox um so i'm going to might have to pay to send it but i don't think it'll be that much i would give you a haul that kelly watches these videos and i have packed it quite nicely and i don't want to unpack it i bought a lot of candy and sweets today which i'm not really mad about i'm actually quite happy so i did get some books i finally got simon versus back because waverly borrowed it but then she gave it to tia to give to me never give Tia to pass things on because this has been gone for like months and it's not Waverly's fault because she gave it to my sister to give to me and it hasn't returned until now. Speaking of books actually and speaking of Simon Versus, Waverly kind of paid for this for me, Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Avatali which is the same author as Simon Versus. We also got little bookmarks to go with the books so here we are. I'm actually gutted that I've just done my bookmark collection because that could have gone really nicely. They go so well together, just saying. Next book that I bought was something I've been hearing on 
booktube for quite a while it's apparently very similar to the hate you give or it's like people who like thug will like this i think but it is dear martin by nick stone and i honestly can't wait for this either um two of the books that i brought i believe nick stone is black and then the black author as well the next book that i bought so i bought two books today that are from black authors which is really cool i'm not actually sure what it's about but it's similar to the hate you give aka thug and that's about police brutality and institutional racism so hopefully this will live up to that and be as great if not better the next one i've actually never heard of before but i think the cover is beautiful and it is the poet x by elizabeth akivedo i can't pronounce that i think this cover is absolutely gorgeous it's gorgeous again i don't know what this is about i've never heard of this before but it was on the barrel and get one half price offer that they do at waterstones and i kind of just picked it up because we needed another one in the deal and i was like i'll just pick this one up it says on the back it's a novel about first love and finding your own voice and it includes slam poetry which i think callum might enjoy because he loves slam poetry again it's by a black author and i really want to support more black authors and women authors and lgbtq plus authors so <laughs> i brought books i probably shouldn't have brought all these books so many regrets i'm sure waverly's bank is more upset than mine good afternoon everyone and happy saturday callum has a new carpet and he has a new desk i think his desk looks fab and a new wardrobe there do you want some help hang on i got you actually what time is it let me see what time it is on camera's phone oh it's seven past one um on saturday and i have been up for ages i haven't just woken up but we had the pleasure of seeing Callum's nieces and nephews no not just his yeah. nieces just his nieces yeah so we were doing that one morning we kind of just had a lazy morning didn't we you went to go pick up your wardrobe and stuff so that's why and i've also been playing sim city and i can't vlog now because we're going out and my phone needs to charge because i've been playing that whole morning so i'll probably have to vlog again when i get back but that's okay that's fine we were supposed to have a movie night but then we actually didn't watch any movies and just play fortnite pretty much so yeah. <laughs> maybe we should actually watch a movie today i'm gonna go have a smash steak and i will have to talk to you later because my phone's dying so sim city was worth it I'm not at Callum's anymore. It's now Sunday and boy do I have a story to tell you. So me and Callum we obviously went out for our meal on Saturday night, I think, about five. I had a steak because it was cheap. It was something I knew I liked and I just wanted something. I want, I want a steak. A few hours later when we came home and it digested and stuff and it, I started to feel something lodged in my throat. Um, at first I thought it was a pill because I'd just taken my pill. So I started to do loads of things to try and get it out. I was laying down flat. I was drinking water upside down. I was using solid foods like donuts <laughs> to try and get the food to go down. I thought I did at some point. I threw up. Um, I started being really clammy. I started shaking. I couldn't sleep. I have literally had about two hours sleep today. So I phoned 111 at about five and they basically asked me a load of questions about what how i was feeling what happened and it got to the end of it and she said i should make my way to hospital and if not it's gonna be a two hour wait for an ambulance because they need to make sure that i was okay so we went to a and e my mum was not pleased that i had woken her up at five o'clock in the morning to go to a and e um she wasn't very happy but she took me anyway and um, so we went to a and &E, me, Callum and my mum, and we sat there and there was like a two and a half hour wait and we was like, okay, fine. So I got like checked over and stuff by a nurse and then got sent into the main A&E waiting room kind of thing. The waiting time slowly went up and it, it's, the first, when we went in, it was about two and a half hours and by the time we left, it was four hours. And I got really lucky because the woman at the desk rang the like, she was like ahead of the game so like she knew that i had a throat thing and she knew that i had to be referred to the special section of that the ward so she rang them anyway and described my symptoms on the phone and then the woman rang me back and she told me that 
there's probably nothing there. It prob there probably was something there, like a bit of meat or something, but it has gone down because you can't really see it from like me opening my mouth, but it's definitely like, it really hurts. But because I can swallow water, she thinks that there's not a problem. And I was like, okay, so you're telling me I've just vomited everywhere and been crying and screaming and not being able to sleep all night for a feeling? I don't really think so. But she told me to get something, I don't remember what it is for the life of me. She told me to get this over-the-counter prescription thing, which they could have told me on 111 to be fair. She didn't have to tell me that, I didn't have to even have to go to a &E to get told that. But I think she was worried because I was vomiting. Came back, I slept for a bit, I slept for about two hours? Yeah, I slept for about two hours, we got about, we got back about half eight and it's now half eleven, I've been awake for about an hour. When I woke up from my little nap, I couldn't swallow my own saliva, I couldn't breathe, um, I feel like it's gonna come out of my mouth. Um, I feel like it's like right here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it even if there is anything there. It just freaking hurts. It hurts to do everything. But I am gonna eat something and drink something. So we'll see how it works. And I think we're gonna go out today when my mum's had a bit more sleep um, to get the thing that she told me to get. It's also a laxative. And I have an exam tomorrow. I don't need a laxative. I don't need to take a laxative today to be shitting all day and have a sore bottom tomorrow to be sat on it for two hours. Don't need that at all. That was my little story time, I guess. Um, it's Sunday. I'm not vlogging today. As I said, I'm going to have a little day to myself to edit this vlog, make sure it's scheduled and stuff for tomorrow because that's really important. Um, and I'm going to read my book. Speaking of reading, actually, I am reading Love and Gelato still and I haven't got very far with it at all. I was trying to read it at Callum's but it just wasn't working. So I got to page 104 and it has about 300 so I think I'm going to sit and read this today. Hopefully finish it because that would be ideal. And I'm going to do some um, last minute media revision and then have some self care, I think, because I do have a media exam tomorrow and when you're watching this I will probably have already been out of it so... I wonder how it went. I feel kind of bad, but this throat thing has really put me out and I've just been really stressed because of exams anyway. Um, so I really hope that you enjoyed, <coughs> I'm getting really croaky. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed, there was my week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed yours. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy my weekly vlog. It really does help. And maybe even subscribe. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday. One, four, three, bye. I had to film today. That's not gonna happen.